Next to your home catching fire, there's nothing worse than water damage. Everything is soaked and nasty, and you just know it's only a matter of time before mold starts to grow. So you gotta get down to drying the whole mess out and replacing what you can't salvage right away. And that's a big chore. Fortunately, FLIR has some tools that can make the job a heck of a lot easier. Part of the problem is figuring out where all the wet areas are in the first place. It isn't always obvious. Water has a way of leaching into nooks and crannies and going wherever it wants to. And it can be just as tough to know when everything's completely dry. With the health problems and funky smells that mold can cause, there's no time to waste. That's why a FLIR thermal camera is a must-have tool. Wet areas are typically cooler than dry ones, and the camera instantly senses those small temperature differences, turning what it detects into images that show you right where the moisture is. In fact, you can see those cooler and warmer spots on walls, ceilings, and carpet right up to when the last bit of moisture evaporates, so you can even catch areas that are barely damp. A moisture meter is also helpful to confirm what you're dealing with, because sometimes something that looks cold could just be missing insulation or drafty air infiltration. Some of these meters, like Xtex MO297, have a meter link function that sends and stores humidity readings right to the FLIR camera. Nice for reports. The faster you find the wet areas, the quicker and easier it is to get the extraction process going. Before you do, though, it's a good idea to remove any furniture and set it up on styrofoam blocks in a space that's dry. Check out the furniture while you're at it to make sure it didn't get wet, too. Now, fire up the extraction machine. Pull as much water out of the carpet as possible. Next, time for the carpet blower. This will help get some air moving and dry out the flooring. You'll also need a heavy-duty dehumidifier. All this equipment is available at most tool rental stores. With the blower and dehumidifier running, monitor the dry-out process with the FLIR thermal camera. In this time-lapse video, you can really see how well the drying process is going. When the room is pretty much dried out, take time to look around for anything you might have missed and also to find other potential problems. For example, in this area, you can see the studs in the wall. These dark points here are actually drywall screws. This looks like some of the insulation may have sagged, maybe from getting wet, or perhaps it was poorly installed from the start. The insulation is completely missing here. This place could use some improvements. Restoration after water damage from a storm or plumbing leak is a whole lot easier with the help of a FLIR camera, that's for sure. And as you've seen, it's pretty handy for other building issues too. It's amazing the problems you can uncover and what you can show, especially when you can see the invisible. That's what a FLIR thermal imaging camera does for you. Simply put, it helps you find and fix things faster and lets you and others know for certain when the job's done. <laughs>